Okay, now I've done another test on these knives. You can see here where I tested this one. Put a spot of vinegar and water on it right there for an hour and a half. And these two knives over here had the vinegar and water on them back then. And that other video is on there. That was a different video. But I proved that this knife wasn't mislabeled A2. I was just checking. Because there had been a lot said and a lot happened. And this is magna cut and it tarnished. This is all Bark River stills. So that's 3V and that's magna cut. Nothing happened to these in the air and a half. So I run another test on them last night. I put a spot of vinegar and water. Half vinegar, half water. Just regular old vinegar. And this is what happened after... 11 and a half hours just a little over 11 and a half hours you can see where it dried up on this one but look what it did to the 3v so this is definitely not mislabeled 3v so i think it's magna cut i'm gonna go wash these knives off now i just went and rinsed these off with just tap water and i just wiped over them with a paper towel no soap or anything it's interesting how this happens. you seen how much more there was on this 3V knife, but once I wash that layer off, it's back down to that. I can polish that out easy enough. I haven't done no polishing on it or nothing yet. Just scrubbed over it some with a paper towel. But then once I did it over here where that was dried, it's showing a little bit of patina under that where it was dried right there too on this knife. So, this knife's definitely not 3V, but I think it would develop a patina. It's not plum stainless from what I can see. If you left vinegar on it and just let it dry on up, you, maybe if you had salt, I've never tried salt water test or anything, and I hadn't tested this against a known stainless like my S30V knife or anything to see if it did the same thing with the vinegar and water. But what I would say is, yeah, it did have a little bit of coloration on it once I washed that off. You couldn't see it under there because that layer was dry and it just looked clear. But definitely you seen it was different than the 3V. So the with using this knife more i ended up uh ended up using it on a uh, couple of deer and stuff since i've made the videos about tarnishing and stuff and it had blood on it but i always washed it down after an hour or so and this knife stayed pretty good since i got that outside layer of tarnishing on it and i hadn't cut any more ham with either one of the knives but i've cut up plenty of steak and this knife stayed pretty good it's somewhat stainless there's been a lot of talk about bark rivers magna cut and it being made to 62 hardness and it's not a stainless steel and everybody else is saying they're magna cut stainless almost to the level of salt level and stuff and spider co i think's the the one that, that's saying they're even going to make their salt series now to made to go around salt water and out at the ocean fishing and everything out of magna cut it's so stainless but i'm hearing something different about bark river i emailed them they wouldn't email me back asking about it and i called earlier about the tarnishing on that they told me to use flits and they never said a word about theirs not being a stain resistant or stainless or whatever you want to call it but i'm just showing you the results i found and telling you what i found on the knives and basically this knife here is fairly good now that i've got that outer layer off of it it won't take a stain too quick and once i have a ham again i'll try a ham with them and stuff but uh it did after 11 and a half hours of have vinegar on it it does have a little bit of color on it right there around the vinegar so it's not a hundred percent stainless to the level of leaving vinegar and water on it all night but 
like I said, not as bad as the 3V, and definitely it's not A2. So my experiment to recap what I did with a couple of these things, I was just wanting to make sure it wasn't mislabeled still because there's a lot of talk about Bark River doing that. Definitely not mislabeled to one of these two, but it's definitely not 100% stainless. Like a lot of people saying that Magna Cut would be. I'm saying a lot of other companies. I can't get an official statement out of Bark River and you can't find one anywhere that's official public statement. So I'm just going by what a, one of the commenters had told me that had been said by Mike Stewart. But I can't find where he said that on any public place whatsoever. So there you have it. So far this knife's been good. I've I've got up a bunch of with this one here and I got another one too, but I've like I said a couple of deer, two or three deer, uh a whole bunch of kitchen stuff. And once I got that outer layer off of there, kind of like DLT said, it's it's been pretty good this is the first time it's had any kind of real patina on it and that was after 11 and a half hours with vinegar and water so that's my experience with it and i hope this video helps somebody